To work in foster care, it really takes a special kind of person. You need to be quite resilient. You need to be a bit tough, I guess. They need to believe in social justice and they need to believe in self-determination. It's a hard job. It's, it is really stressful. It's, it's exhausting at times. The person has to be flexible, has to be passionate. You need a bucket load of empathy. And really accepting of people from all different lifestyles. To me it's obvious, it's plain and simple, it's all about the children. It's all about the children. My mum was a social worker and I always really looked up to my mum and what she did. And then once I studied I um, realised it was exactly what I wanted to do because I've always been a people person and always been really interested in how to help people be the best that they can and I feel that social work is a way of being able to achieve that. We want the best families for the children who come into care and that means getting it right the first time so that there's not lots of changes and that families are matched appropriately to children's needs so that we know that when we place a child with a family that it's going to be for the duration of their childhood experience and they're not going to have lots of changes. Today I'm heading to a foster carer's house to meet with them to talk about how that child's going and what needs to happen and what needs to be planned for that child. I think um, foster carers are the most amazing people that they're willing to give their love and time and energy to kids coming into their care and I think without foster carers um, we wouldn't be able to achieve good outcomes for kids. I'm passionate about kids and I, I love helping them and seeing them come and go and progress and another thing I, I'm passionate about is just keep in mind that we're foster carers to look after the kids but hopefully they go back to family, that's, that's my thing as a foster carer. And how's his contact been going with his mum? Really good, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. She actually drives out and meets us. My role in all of this is really just to support the placement, to support the carer, to advocate for her if necessary, to make sure she has got all the tools that she needs for her to be able to do her job as a foster carer. I didn't know what to expect. I suppose a bit green about the whole situation, but once we started taking our first few placements, we found Lonsley very supportive and we got great support for our own biological children, which was nice. The benefits for their own children are huge because it teaches them empathy, compassion. You know, these, these carers are modelling such great behaviour for their own children and such great behaviour for the children that they care for. I don't think you can do this job without uh, feeling some attachment towards people and particularly towards children and wanting the best for them and wanting to know, hey, you know, where are they at and what's going on in their lives. It's all about actually caring. It's, this isn't just a job, it's, it's, it's almost a lifestyle really because it's not, you don't go home and switch off and forget about your carers and the children. You just don't and you know, much as we're taught we have to practice self-care and that's something that we preach to the carers, practicing that is pretty tough at times. Colleagues are the most fundamental part of your support at Wansley. Without the support of your colleagues, achieving the best outcomes wouldn't be possible. We're all um, here for the same purpose and I think we're really teamed together for that. Um, we really work together discussing um, the cases constantly so that we can all have input to have the best outcome for children and foster carers. Today's a team building day for our team. It's getting out of the office, it's coming together, getting to know each other. All of our work is about relationship and if we don't have the relationships with our colleagues, it's very difficult to do the work effectively. The scenario to act out, you'll be acting out to the next person, you can't speak and then they have to act out to the I look forward to coming to work every day and um, learning what the day is going to bring and seeing what difference I can make to a child's life. It's something that we all need to have some input into, not just those who are working in the field, but it's a society issue, a community issue to help foster families and foster children. I look at all the children I did take into care and I think we've had 44 up to now and I think, wow, 
and a lot of them children are still contacting me and you know saying what great carers and I, I feel really special about that and so do my children.